Hey guys, so today I decided to do this tutorial thing so I can show you guys like my trading methods and how I do it. This is probably not the best trading method you can do out there, but this is how I do it and uh, if you want to like copy me or whatever, you can do the same thing. So first off, I'm gonna start off by talking a little bit about some popular scams, like the methods people use to scam you. Because you don't really want to get scammed when you trade. I've never been scammed myself, but I've heard about a lot of people that have been scammed for their knives and all their hard work. Or their real life money if they put money into the game. So, um, um, the method I use, like first off, this is not really a scam, but you always want to check the exterior for the weapon you're trading for. Like if you go and see Skolange and you see, oh the weapon is factory new, go into their inventory, it's field tested, it's not factory new. Uh, some people actually have like a little bit of a scam to this, they put it on factory new on CSGO launch and they try to make people do trade offers to them because they think it's factory new, but it's really like field tested or something. So it's always check the exterior, and uh, you always got these fuckers with the normal scam links. As you can see here, they fucking commented on your profile or they like add you to Steam and send you a link, or they send you a YouTube link and the YouTube link has like Get some free knives today, get like a million karamid fades, just like that. But that's obviously a scam. You just have to have a little bit of a common sense. So don't press any of these fucking shit links, screen, host, hot. Like, they're probably fucking... I don't even know, dude. You can even see this guy is a li Steam account level 0. That means his uh, profile is private. You want to avoid adding people that has like privated profiles. And if the guy adding you is level 1 and you go into his profile, and he only has like a 50 cent game on his account, don't add him, most likely a bot. If he doesn't have CSGO and he wants to trade CSGO skins, it's most likely a scammer. So avoid that. And if someone adds you, they have like a wrapped account, and they want to trade for like PayPal or whatever, they want you to like trade your knife to your friend and do a lot of bullshit, just like fucking remove them dude. Don't even like, yeah, they're just gonna like try to scam you. They're not gonna fucking, um, they're not gonna pay you on PayPal, so yeah. And uh, yeah, try avoiding like selling stuff on PayPal. If you want to make some real cash, I guess you can sell it on PayPal, but I've never done it myself, but I heard about a lot of people getting scammed. Like they get the money on PayPal, but then the fucker that got the skin, they like refund their money. So they pr pretty much get their money back and the skin. That's pretty much like uh, the popular scam methods. Always have common sense though. You don't really want to like fuck up. So yeah. So I'm gonna go through a couple of uh, like extension skins, whatever, like I use for trading. Um, you guys probably wonder what Steam skin I have. I have Metro for Steam. It's linked in the description. It doesn't really help you to trade, but you guys probably wonder what Steam skin I have. So you don't need to ask about it in the comments or whatever. So yeah, I got Metro for Steam, and uh, that's the Steam skin I have. And for Google Chrome I use two extensions, it does only work for Google Chrome unfortunately. First off, I got the Lounge Assist. It's a pretty helpful tool I guess, it shows prices on CSGO Lounge and it just makes uh, CSGO Lounge look pretty. Pretty much. And it just makes it look pretty cool. Pretty cool. And I got something called Steam Inventory Helper. Uh, you can like customize it here. Everything will be linked in the description by the way. So uh, you can pretty much like see the value of your items when you're trading. Or you can like quick sell stuff in your inventory. I don't really use that tool for trading though. So pretty much you can easily see that your uh, like item is worth like other people's items. But if uh, the price is over the market it would obviously do like not show. So yeah. So that's pretty much what um, extension uh, extensions I use. So hopefully you use the same. They're pretty useful. So starting off to trade, you want to figure out what item you want to trade. So you go into your inventory, probably have a lot of items, and you want to figure out what item you want to trade. So I'm gonna trade the M4A for a Griffin. It's pretty easy skin to trade, I guess. Um, and I will have a little bit of a fucked up currency. And if you're from Denmark or Sweden, you can't get KR. This is only Norwegian crowns. Um, so I'm gonna explain a little bit about the currency. 
So one Norwegian crown equals 0 0.11 euros. So you have a little bit of a, an idea where we're like, what we're looking at right here. So um, we want to go for around 0 0.40 euro profit or 0 0.50, which is around uh, four or five uh, Norwegian crowns. So we want an item around uh, 13, let's say 13, that's a good profit. And uh, then you want to go into the community market to figure out what item you want to trade for. So you go into the market, go into advanced options, go into counter strike global offensive, just search, you don't need to take anything. Then you want to press price, and up here you see, like, when you press price this thing added. You want to like search for a page and try to figure like find uh, around the price where you want to trade. So I want 13, 14. So uh, maybe 85 would be good. Uh, a little bit more up. And you can scroll manually when you get close to him. It's not that difficult. Okay, we're at 14 now. We're gonna go like one page down. Okay, 13. 13.6. Before you start trading though. Uh, you want to avoid a couple of items. You want to avoid new skins. Currently, there is none. Um, when I made this video, and you want to avoid souvenir skins because they're low quantity and uh, they're high value. Even though they're not high value, people like don't purchase them, and they're really difficult to trade. You want to avoid stickers, and you want to avoid some skins with low qu quantity. Like here, we can see quantity. And, uh, it, for example, the orange peel can be a really bad skin to trade for. It's only 16 of it, it's factory new. It could be, like, good, but people will most likely not want it. It's a pretty bad looking skin. Uh, it has a little bit of a value to it, but it's not really good to trade. And, for example, with the bulldozer as well, it's high value, but low quantity. So try to get somewhere around the, at least 40 plus. Um, and you want, uh, like, to avoid shitty skins, like, not used weapons. Like a fucking Nejev, you don't want to trade for a Nejev. You don't want to trade for M249, you want to trade something that people actually use, like a USP, P2K, uh, Galak, P250, like, this is on pistols, like, P90, Mag7, as you can see here, the Nova is good, M4, AK, AWP, like used weapons that you would actually use in a competitive match. So we're gonna go with the P90 Blind Spot Stat Track Minimal Wear, which would be a good profit. So um, now you find the item, you can look a little bit at the graph see if, if you want to and see if it like has possibilities to drop. Um, this this looks it looks pretty good. Like, a couple of, like, yesterday was down, but it goes up, like, every day. So, um, you can always, like, try to abuse timing as well. Like, you, you can wait till this drops in price and you can, like, grab one. Or, like, to try to trade it when it's low priced. And then, like, the next day will go up in price. But I'm not gonna go that advanced on you guys. So, um, you just wanna copy the uh, name of it. And you want to remember the exterior. So then you want to go into CSGO Lounge, which we're going into now. And th if this is like your first time trading on CSGO Lounge, you're probably going to be a little bit confused. So um, first off, you just want to go to search, it's pretty easy. And then you want to search for the item, so pretty much just paste it in there. And it will pop up, like, pretty easily. And now you want to look for the minimal wear sign, or just hold, like, hover over and it will say it. And you want to left click it. And with the search, and you will find a lot of results. And uh, what you want to do, or what I do, and what I prefer to do, I just like pretty much spam open everything. Uh, for people that want to trade knives, probably won't do the trade, but why not just do it? Uh, it won't hurt, and you won't always look at the names because people have posted more than only one like trade offer out here. So you want to look at the names like you don't open the tab of the same guy. So you pretty much just want to open a lot of fucking tabs. And you just want to look at the names like you don't fuck up. Like it's not that important if you fuck up, but then you pretty much spam that one person with like two trade offers, maybe three. Which could be bad. Uh, because then he's like, oh, this fucker is spamming me, I will like not trade with him. 
So yeah, pretty much just like spam this. You can go to second pages as well, but I won't show that. And then you want to go into the last one. And you just want to press the steam offer. And then you want to find your item. There is the griffin. And uh, there's this P90. And you can see the euro value of it. Like you get a good amount of value. You get 0 0.53 more euros for the P90. And you just pretty much want to spam. And after you make offer and press OK, you want to press Ctrl W to exit out of that one. And I use the middle mouse button to open tabs easily on CSGO launch. And you just want to spam this. It's better to have the griffin on the front page. And how you do that, you put it out on the market for a higher value. Look, this guy probably already did the trade. No, I didn't. But like you put the item on the market for a higher value. And then you just take it off the market again and it will be on the front page. Currently I haven't done that, but it's pretty smart to do. So you can actually like see the item. Or like you don't need to like scroll to find the item. To get a 0 0.5 euro like um, profit could be hard with like really low graded skins. But when you get up to like 1 euro, 2 euros, it should be pretty easily done. So... This guy's got a lot of fucking trade offers, goddamn. Oh god, what the fuck? Yeah, oh shit, I just fucked up. What a fucker. <laughs> and you pretty much just want to spam these. I'm not going to show it because I'm, I don't really care about the Griffin. I don't really want to uh, trade it. But you pretty much go through all these. And then you wait a little bit. And you're like, oh shit, I can't make a trade. What do I do? You want to pretty much just repeat what you're doing. You want to go into the market again. Find a new skin, and then do the same exact thing, if, like, the first bunch doesn't work. And after a while you will make trades, and it should work pretty smoothly. So this is how I trade and how I feel it works. There's probably different methods out there, but this is the method I like to do. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this, like, tutorial, and um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Or you can message me on um, YouTube and I will definitely respond to you. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Peace out.